Although I'm not really going anywhere these days, I really kind of feel like it's nice to have one of those casual type of dresses that you can just kind of throw on, feel good, and get out and run your chores. Let me tell you about my newest one. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews and welcome back. So I was recently a pattern tester for the Darla dress, which just released today. And let me tell you, I really like this dress. I feel like Mika's Digital always puts out these garments that have really interesting details. So the Darla dress has an asymmetric neckline. It has ruching down the side of the sleeve. I went and I added some extra embellishments. We'll talk about that in a second. And it has a bunch of ruching at the shoulder line coming, coming across the bust and then also from the midsection down in the front, not the back, so only the front, which I think is actually a really cute detail. Um, so you wanna use stretchy knit fabrics with a lot of really good recovery on it. So something with like 50% stretch that's gonna bounce back would be really nice for this one. I actually didn't have anything in my stash that I could use for this dress. If I had the fabric, like a rayon spandex blend or something like that, I just didn't have enough of it and I needed at least three yards to make this dress. So I did have to run over to Joanne to make, well, basically just to get some fabric. And while I was walking down the aisles, they had a bunch of really cute options. A girl loves to shop. Okay, looks like there's a sale going on. And these are all of the stretchy fabrics. So I think I'm gonna look for something that I like. Something that's nice and colorful somewhere in this aisle. And then I'll show ya. Okay, so I found these four fabrics that I really like. These three are all cotton knits right here, and then this one is like some kind of polyester knit. I really do like all of these, and part of me thinks this girly cheetah print would be amazing, but the other badass part of me wants some camo. Oh, the options, the options. Let's see. So this camo is $12.99 and it's 30% off. And you know these coupons don't work. And then this one is $9.99 and it's 25% off. Gosh, man, maybe I'll just, I want them all. But I don't need them all. I really do want them all. So I did end up going with the cotton knit um, in the camouflage, which of course you see that I'm wearing that. So surprise. But I also wanted something to kind of like zhuzh up my dress, right? I mean, I love really fun details. So while I was walking around Joanne's, I was looking for maybe something that I could, like some kind of applique or something. And I ran across these studs and let me tell you i really love these things now there's 80 in a pack these are the square studs um and they come to a little point i picked up all three packs that they had and quite honestly i don't know why because there's 80 in each pack and i don't know why i felt like i needed what is that 240 <laughs> it's okay i'll be i'll be you all are going to be seeing gold studs on a whole lot of stuff fair warning you all, last week was a killer for me. I was working on this conference and it just, it sucked the juice right out of me. So this dress actually didn't get finished before we packed up the cars and started driving over to Florida. Um, we're currently staying with my in-laws and we'll be working from here for a good amount of time. But because my dress wasn't finished, I decided to take all of my studs and my dress with me and it was my car project. I seriously was just popping these things in and closing out those prongs on the back and, until I had something that I felt looked really cute. And honestly, I really do love the look of the studs. This dress goes up to a 6X. 
let's talk about the sizing that I chose to do for myself and the process that went into actually putting this dress together. My full bust is 44 inches and then my hips are 49 inches. And so when I was looking at the size chart, I decided to do the extra large up top and I graded out to a 1X for my hips and brought that down. This pattern actually has a decent amount of ease in it. So my dress does not feel tight. It doesn't feel clingy. And quite honestly, I think that's how I would prefer my dress to fit. The next time that I make this dress, I think I'm gonna go ahead and size down one or two sizes. So that way I get a kind of like more, well, so that this thing clings to my body the way I would like it to. <laughs> and then that's 100% personal preference. I think it really looks cute with the amount of ease that it was designed to have as well. So and take it for what it's worth. So I had mentioned that I used a cotton knit to put this dress together. And let me tell you, I actually think that the cotton knit was a bit too beefy for this dress. I really feel like it needed something that was a little thinner and stretchy, um, mostly because as I was doing the gathers in the shoulder over here, I felt like I gathered it as much as I could and it wasn't enough. Um, I still had a larger front panel than the back. So with that being said, I, th I would honestly recommend something that's a little thinner than what I used for this dress, although it worked out. I just kind of trimmed off the excess and kept it going. Because the side panel has a lot of ruching in it as well, I decided to take all of my gathers up to mid bust and I started from that area and then I gathered it basically coming up. So it was a lot of gathering, but I really think that that's what makes this dress as cute as it is. As it is. And then for the asymmetric neckline, it actually calls for you to cut a piece of a strip that's one inch wide by 31 inches and you fold it in just like a single fold bias tape and you attach it onto the neckline. And I think it, that actually provided a nice clean finish on the neckline. And let me flip it over. So you can see there, there is my binding. Now that I'm in Florida and the weather is, well, a whole lot warmer than it was up north, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut my sleeves down and just make them shorter sleeves so that way I'm not burning up around here. You know, it's really funny. I've never, I've never really been a camouflage wearing type of person. I mean, it was one of those things I was like, oh, it looks cute on other people, but how do I wear it? Wear it? And well, I think that this dress is just perfect for it. By the way, I'm going to put my affiliate link in the description box below. So that way, if you're interested, you can get this. If you use my affiliate link, it doesn't cost you anything more. However, I do get a small percentage that I use to buy more fabric and patterns and things like that. So, <laughs> so if you do use my affiliate link, thank you so much. But if that's not your jam or your cup of tea, that's okay too. That's my new Darla dress by Mika's Digital that just released. So make sure that you check them out and let me know what you think down in the description box below about this new dress and the pattern. And if you enjoyed hanging out with me, please give me a thumbs up subscribe and click that bell so that way you know the next time that there's a new video and until next time i sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day bye